the curry fried rice when breaking internet hello sweetie welcome back to lady b kitchen today i share with you on how to cook your curry fried rice for the whole family if you need an party you want to do this rice go serve you clean pot i go add in half kg of rice then add them water when go enable this rice to cook i will cover this one to cook for just five minutes five minutes later the rice don't turn to boil you now so i open and look how it's doing so now i'm going to be washing this rice with cold water washing the rice is important and first of all you wash it before you can proceed so now i will just wash the rice with clean water i will change the water about three to four occasions before i have a clean wash rice our today haul goes to omali charlili watching from anambra state nigeria thank you sweetie for being part of the family i'm so so grateful to have you here i'm happy that you love the recipe and thank you for always sharing our video don't forget to let us know where you are watching from so that the next hug will be for you so guys now i'm done washing the rice side it's look you see how clean that's look so it's time for me to add in the seasoning i'm going to use to cook the rice i'm going to leave all the names of the ingredients in my description box and in my comments session don't forget to check it out i'll just add in all the spices then season with salt to this and stir everything together before that i'll be adding one jug of water so this water is the water that will enable the rice to get cooked then i'm going to give this a very very good stir i have to stir so that all the ingredients and the rice will get combined so that will make everything to look more nice and lovely as come after cooking so that will be cooking for 5 to 6 minutes until it's ready to eat. Six minutes later, the rice is cooked now i will give the rice a beautiful stir guys just take a good look at how i'm stirring the rice the rice is just pumping one one seed it's not even stinking together so that's for you to know the exact quantity of water you are using to cook your rice when you are cooking your rice don't add water to it just add them once and make sure that this is the exact water that will enable the rice to get cooked so now i will stir and keep it aside next is for me to prepare the vegetables so i have the vegetables already prepared it's just for me to stir fry at this point so all i will do is to add in some oil inside a frying pan now i'm done adding the quantity of the oil i will be needing so first of all i will add in all purpose seasoning on this particular seasoning i have a lot of spices mixed together so i just add everything at once i'm still going to leave the names in my description box so now i will just add in chopped onions and stir fry these to get fried for just one second i will just fry the onions and the spices for two to three minutes I will just keep on stirring until the onions is ready so next i will be adding is the vegetables over here is my frozen vegetable guys i first of all prepare this vegetable before i make use of it this has been in my fridge for one week now before i film this recipe so you can as well make your vegetables like that you don't need to go to shop because you want to cook vegetable and be looking for vegetable so this is how i always prepare my vegetable ahead and it looks so fresh the time i was still going to make use of it so that is it i'll just stir fry it just two seconds seconds it will be ready so if you want to know how i prepare my vegetable ahead before my recipe let me know in my comment section i will be so so glad to show you guys i think i don't have the video yet but this is what i always do so just is simple and easy to prepare so that's what i do and it helps a lot so now i will just uh, fry the vegetable a little bit so after that i will just pour it over inside the rice look at good now <laughs> look at the look at the vegetable just pumping there so now it's ready i will just stir a little bit then i will just turn it over inside the pot of rice 
look how it's pumping look good there it looks so fresh so now here is the rice i will just turn all the vegetable inside the rice so this is just a simple and easiest way to get your food done look at just look at everything just the marama guys so all i will do is to set together and after doing that i'm thinking what to step down with this rice i have to have one or two things to chew on my mouth and i decided to marinate a little bit of chicken lap so i have just two chicken lap i'll just take you guys to the process on how i prepared that so after stirring this rice i will cover this to simmer with this vegetable for five to six minutes before it will be ready so before that let me take you to the preparation of the chicken so here i have the spices i will use to prepare the chicken just adding some oil and stir to and stir together and adding the two laps of chicken so over here is the two lap you can as well make use of any protein of your choice so this is what i have at the moment and i decided to use it for this particular recipe chopping your rice you still need to move your mouth you gotta go so i'll just prepare this fast fast you know use the spices to rub all over the body of the chicken and after doing that i will get that to I will get that to marinate for 20 minutes and after that I'm going to transfer that inside my oven pan. So I will be grating the chicken with oven. You can as well use your air fryer but trust me this oven did a great job. So the chicken grated very very well and every bit of it gets done and just come out so amazing. So now I'm done adding the spices so here is 20 minutes later this is its look it has marinated for now all i will do now is to add it inside the oven pan so over here i have the oven pan i will just add all the chicken down there so guys after doing that i have to get this done with butter so i have one pan of butter here i will just add in the butter with middle of the chicken and then take this inside the oven and it's going to bake and after that just take a good look at that mm -hmm. let go there the chicken guys so at this point your food is ready everything is ready to serve we are done we are done cooking and now it's time for us to enjoy ah uh -uh, my people trust me this rice is no one in town every bit of this rice is just so amazing it tastes so nice and the outcome is just so so amazing just take a good look at the chicken guys just look at it cooks so well and i love the outcome this is the best way and the easiest way you can get your curry fried rice ready it's just a simple you can use this fried rice for your occasion for your get together any occasion you are planning serve this for your family and friends they will love and they will appreciate your good work and if you appreciate my good work let me know in the comment section all the reason my people and i love you all see you guys in my next video don't forget to share share our video support us with star mm -hmm. our page is one Ties. we need start to grow support us with staff for more video i love you guys see you in my next one bye bye